What's going on everybody? Product Probes back at you with another knife review and today we are looking at the CRKT Drifter. This is the G10 version. This is a super cool little EDC, pretty popular. So let's dive into it and let's see what this thing's got. Alright guys, it's just a simple pocket knife. Let me give you a close up on it right here. So, as you can see it is the G10 handle right here, all black nice looking handle on it right here you do have your lanyard hole and flip it over the only thing that i'm not crazy about on this knife is this pocket clip and as you can see it does sit kind of low now i'm glad that it is the same color as the handle so the blend won't be a problem especially with the darker color jeans right in here your washers they seem to be pretty smooth when opening this blade right here you do have the jimpings your dual thumb studs right there and then smooth opening. You do have the titanium nitrate, I guess it would be gunmetal, be I guess what you would call that, coated blade right there. Standard drop point, little thumb ramp on the jimpings again. But super sharp knife, guys. Standard liner lock right there in it. Let's see. It seems to be pretty smooth. Now, yeah. See those washers in there? Let's check it out. I can flip that thing no problem at all. So, single hand close, single hand deployment, no problems there. Now, again, this thing seems to be super sharp right out of the box. So let's go see how sharp this blade really is. All right, I got a good feeling about this blade. So let's see how sharp this thing is. So right here on the straight down cut, seems to catch fine and bam, it actually ran pretty smooth. There were a few tears in there, but let's try it at an angle. Bam. Yeah. So there are a few minor rips right there. But guys, overall, this blade is pretty sharp. Not too bad right there for this little knife. Now, show you this blade on it right here. Now, this is going to be the back of it fully open. If I can fit it all in the camera, which I don't know if I can. But you've got drifter right there on the blade. And again, guys, this pocket clip right here. I haven't been real crazy about it. But, again, with that blend and without the large divot, so it shouldn't fray your pocket. But let's go check it out, and let's go see what this knife looks like in the pocket. All right, let's check this thing out in the pocket. So, right over here on the close-up. Slide it in right there. It was a little bit of trouble, but that was the first time with it going in. I like to slide it on back, the back side of my pocket. And then the concealed side of it, yeah, the concealed side of it's not bad at all and then right here with the pull out bam right there thumb stud is right there so single hand deployment single hand close doesn't seem to be a problem and then bam it is right back in your pocket so the print on it doesn't seem to be too bad now the pocket clip yeah i wish it could have sit a little higher maybe remove that screw add one over but overall that's really not a deal breaker for me so guys right there again pull out thumb stud is right there and bam you are good to go you know looking at the design on it you know i i see that they did what they could with this knife as far as the pocket clip goes and that wasn't too bad and it definitely isn't a deal breaker for a knife under what was it under 25 dollars like this and it is super lightweight now, I know that the stainless steel one has the actual frame lock. Again, this is the liner lock, but it does cut down on a lot of weight. So let's go ahead. Let's go get the weight and measurements of this knife. All right, let's get the weight on this thing real quick. So closed a little bit, well, about three and a half inches closed right there with a blade length of three inches. Fully open, we're going to be looking at six and a half inches right there. So pretty good measurements on it now this thing shouldn't be too heavy so let's check it out yeah 2. Point, is that 2.5 i'm reading it backwards but i think that says 2.29 so definitely on the lighter side of things which is a great weight and good measurements for this little knife super lightweight you know the stainless steel version is going to be a little bit heavier than this and the only downside that I can really see to this knife is, of course, that pocket clip. It's just going to be the tip-down carry 
no reversible, so it's just going to be for your right hand, but it flips open smooth. The single hand closed. The liner lock does not stick, or it hasn't stuck yet as far as I can tell, and the more that I'm playing with it, the more that it's loosening up. And again, guys, just another quick look at it real quick, and I like the look of this knife. I mean, this is a good looking knife, just a simple knife. But again, the ambidextrous thumb studs right there, thumb ramp with the jimpings. And guys, that's it. I hope this review helped. If y'all are thinking about getting it, I'll leave a link in the description below if y'all just want to go check it out. And again, guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all in the next one.